Good evening, Prime Minister. A few weeks ago, you mentioned that the water project at Mantula would be completed within a few weeks. Is there an update on this? We'd love to get a definitive completion date on the water installation and the road build, uh, the road building completion. And Prime Minister, let me just yeah, say and I don't this. have an answer uh, for that. I'll have to follow. I'm no, not no, sure. you, you're not going to stop me today. Maybe. Prime Minister, let me just say this to you. I have noticed um, that you mentioned some time ago on this program that you have spent, I, I could be wrong, I think you said $130 million dollars in the water infrastructure. Correct. What is really going on with water, Prime Minister? Because there are people who are still calling us here at this radio station. There are people who call me 6.30, 5.30 in the morning while I'm in bed and telling me, listen, something has to be done with it because this cannot be right. What is going on with is water? You know, if I can share um, an experience, my great. experience. Mm. I mean, I've had discussions with APA on numerous occasions as to why we're not getting water in Parham. We're on the main line that delivers the water from, from crabs to St. John's. And we've been out of water sometimes for two weeks. What? And when you would call APA, they'd say, the valves should be on, the valves should be on. But when you check the valves, the valves are I get are that off. too. Huh. So I was I'd see <laughs> go out and check, and the valves would be on, and then miraculously, the valves are Knock off. off. We were out campaigning in Parham a few days ago, <laughs> and I observed that a few um, individuals uh, would have reported to Camry Turner that they had no water, they haven't had water for two weeks. And yeah, I was astonished as well. So I picked up the phone and I called Mr. Martin. I said, Mr. Martin, what's going on here? He said to me that um, he had just left the plant um, and it's producing four million news. gallons of water per day. <laughs> So I said, but something must be wrong. Evidently, that you must have a situation which the valves are turned off. And he said, no, no, they have checked. We get a report every day, all the valves. I said, Mr. Martin, please get your people to check. <laughs> Following he called me, told me, Mr. Turner, valves are turned off. And by the way, don't <laughs> discount the fact that it may be individuals in this country. <laughs> who are paying certain operatives to turn off valves. <laughs> In fact, Peter Wang brought to my attention that one of them who very hostile to us, you know, was at a UPB meeting in his UPB shirt and so on. And I have said to Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin, you know, we don't threaten people's jobs. We don't discriminate. But if it is that there are people in APA, I notice I say if, this is sometimes, you know, when I speak, they're not emphasizing, you know, the, the point that I'm making. Yes. <laughs> if it is that you have um, saboteurs within the water department in um, APA, I want to appeal to them to just discontinue. We saw a situation in um, Barbados when um, Mayor Motley's um, team first ran, uh, you know, two elections ago. That sewage was actually in the streets this going is into the sea. breaking news. And a few days after they won, it stopped. So if it is that there are individuals, operatives of UPP, who are trying to undermine the water supply by turning off valves or whatever they're doing, whatever funny things they're doing, and they're trying to undermine my government, it's not going to work. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to win elections. But I want to make yes, it abundantly clear. And again, I'm not a person who threatens people's jobs. But if they go as far as bringing their parties and interests into the work, I'm saying categorically here, on the eve of an election without fear of contradiction, that heads will roll. <laughs>